Time for us to dive into our next segment. We want to talk about beauty and specifically nail art. And um, my guest here in studio is Poly Polycap Gatiba. And uh, he's a nail artist, nail tech. He runs a nail business as well. Actually, he happens to be the one who has done my nails as well. So I'm excited to have this conversation with him. Karibu sana to the show, Polycap. Thank you so much. And he's here with our model for the day, Annette, who's also a nail tech herself. Uh, Karibu ni sana to you as well. Exactly. All right, so maybe we'll just begin. Uh, obviously, we can see a lot of stuff here on the table, and I'm sure our cameras will reveal this uh, for our audience just now. Mm -hmm. uh, nail art is, is, is it's, it's really a profession. I mean, mm -hmm. there's a lot that goes into it. Yes. So, to watch these stories are queen gear to Kakibanda Mahali. Yes. <laughs> there's a science to it. You need to understand the nail mm -hmm. um, and uh, how not to damage nails. I yes. think in the, in the last few years, we've seen all sorts of businesses and patterns and trends coming up but a lot of people actually are not aware of the science and how to do this well and yeah. professionally yeah. um so maybe before we get to that let's hear a bit about your own story um how did you get into the nail business and you're a guy yeah <laughs> so it's a long story mm -hmm. but I'll, I'll make sure maybe i, I make it brief mm -hmm. uh my passion for nails started way back in 2008 okay then that time I was in Shags. Then later in the days, uh, 2015, I came uh, I came to Nairobi, and uh, now that's the time I realized I can maybe go and get some uh, knowledge uh, part time after working, and uh, I started it at uh, on 2016 mm. January. Mm -hmm. I did it for two months and luckily I didn't have enough money to pursue the whole course. Okay. So the only thing I learned is about uh, manicure and pedicure. Okay. That's the time you used to use the Luron, uh, Luron polish. <laughs> then okay. uh, from that I, I managed to hack and go to YouTube, check things out. I started buying my own things, okay. things like these ones. I started uh, f uh, re doing research okay. and asking for them. Okay. Uh, then uh, I had a supplier who managed to import, who has managed to import everything for me. All right. Everything that I have on the table it comes from one person. Okay. So by that time, I started my making my wife my wife's nails. Then she was my girlfriend. Mm -hmm. So I used to practice so much. I I polish, I post, I polish, I post, and then someone discovered me on uh, Facebook. Okay. Uh, he's uh, my friend, Scott Ritchie. Then uh, he happened to employ me around um, 2016 August. Then I left the work I used to do on, uh, at an uh, industry area. Okay. And that's how I came into nail industry. And from his place, I started on my own on 27, 2017 um, September. Okay. After working there for one year, one month. All and right. then uh, I took a small station uh, along Tomboya Street. Then from there, I opened my place at uh, 680 Hotel. Okay. And then uh, I expanded to Kilimani. We are along Kiricho Road. Yeah. We have a bigger space. Uh, then uh, that is last year, April. We are still there and we are expanding because. Uh, by the end of this month, we'll be fully doing hair and nails. Okay, okay. Yeah. Well, congrats to you Thank on you. the journey so far. So since 2017, that's pretty quick. I yeah. mean, uh, to have set up a place and also to be able to expand. Mm -hmm. uh, but today I want us to focus now on nail glitter, yeah. um, which is a big trend as far as nail art is concerned. Mm -hmm. What does it take to then be able to do good you know nail art with glitter i'm seeing you have a lot of stuff on this table yeah. and as we're just used to picking up a polish of a bottle of glitter polish mm -hmm. <laughs> so what does it actually take to be able to do glitter nails well uh we have so many things to do with glitter i could not carry and come and show everything okay but you have things that have tra uh, that are trending okay uh if i would show some of this yeah these are called foils. Okay. They are very different and you have different ways to, to do them. Okay. You can see the different colors. Mm -hmm. uh, if I would demonstrate. Sure, let me take this pack yeah, sure. as you prepare to demonstrate. But these are foils and you can see they come in different yeah. shades and colors. And you can transfer the whatever is on this foil to the nail. Okay. 
very quickly. So here he is now. He's going to start doing the practical of uh, showing us how to actually do these nails. So what are you about to do? I'm about to show how to transfer this foil. This uh, arch that is on the foil. Okay. If I'd show this, this is a foil paper. Okay. So how to transfer oh. this now to the nail okay. of a client. Okay. Just a second. Let's do this one. This one will show better. Okay. So this you'd typically do on, you know, you've already prepped, primed, yeah. done everything else. Yeah, you have you have done the preparation. You have applied them. Um, usually when you are doing nails, for instance, uh, you have steps that use the, for myself, I, 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 I really do deal with the natural nails okay. uh, and making sure people have their natural nails grow without struggle mm -hmm. and I use two products it's called a builder gel okay builder gel is this one okay you have the builder gel and I have the gum gel okay this so n so now we're assuming all of that is already done yeah it's already done Packard, the polish color yes. of her choice yes okay so from that point this product I can assure you there are two good products that can make sure your nails will never get spoiled and you never damage your nail, uh, nail plate. Mm -hmm. Even after removing them, mm -hmm. you will still have the same uh, nail surface or your nails, nail plate won't be spoiled. Okay. Yeah, and that's why I took that step to make sure that I go that way. Okay. Yeah. So, iyo yenyo mepaka ni nini? Whatever I've applied, it's called a uh, foil glue. Okay. So when you apply a foil glue, you just uh, cure it for 30 seconds okay. or less. Okay. So meanwhile, mm -hmm. when you are doing all this, uh, my, my, if I was to explain the steps that make sure that your nails grow and don't break, these two products are to protect your nails, not to break. One, I have to put it clear, it doesn't uh, strengthen your nails. Okay. If someone is telling you that the product is strengthening your nails, uh, uh, I'll tell you for free that's a lie because the product does, it's only used to protect your nails from breaking. Okay. I'll do a very fast transfer. Okay. So now that you've cured the foil glue, yeah. Uh, uh, now you're applying the foil. Yeah, it's ready for a transfer. Okay. So you're just picking a couple so with a design you like? Yes, I'll just transfer two flowers here. Okay. These two, I'll transfer them to the nail. Okay. All right. So now you're just making sure it's adjusted, it's fitting in the right space. Yes. And then you pull off the as of the paper and you remain with it. Okay. Can we can you just hold your thumb there um for us to see that? There we go. You can see that actually yeah that's good. That's good right there. Okay. So he's applied some nail art on it and that is foil art for you. Yeah. And, and so the foil art comes in all all of this is foil art. Uh, all that it's, is it's, it looks like those pieces of paper and there's glitters, there's silvers, there's gold, there's colors. Yes. Whatever one would want you could find. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So this is, I guess, the new way of doing it, right? Yeah, than that's the new way of doing it. Mm -hmm. Then we have another trend in, uh, I don't know if I would get like five minutes to show it. Okay. It's called, uh, it's called ombre. Okay, yes. Ombre is a trend in uh, art in nails. Oh, and you have to cure it again. Yeah, you have to cure it again. So did you put a, a top no, coat? Or yeah, I, I, I just put top, top coat to protect the, 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 the art. The art. Yes. Okay. And that's it? That's it. Wow. That's after you are done with polishing the nails, mm -hmm. you transfer the art to the nail. Great. For so that's one way to do it. Yeah. For mm -hmm. the ombre, if I would show how to do it. Yeah. You just apply and you, have, you just have to choose another, another coat that's not less screaming than the, the color that you are going to uh, do the finishing with it. 
Uh, mostly we go for nudes. Okay, so he's just applying a color that is pretty close to her natural nail tone color. Yeah. I think that's the best way to say it because the whole idea of an ombre is you want um, it to sort of you're blending a color to a natural color. So you want it to have this, you can't see the edges. Yes. Okay. Um, and so what color are you thinking you're going to go with with I'll, your ombre? I'll do a burgundy. Okay. Can people achieve an ombre with just the brush, like just kind of trying to feather out the edges? So it's, yeah, it's obviously yeah. a lot harder. Yes, you can, but uh, I have a machine that helps me to do it very fast and uh, doing it in a very fine way okay yeah all right so that's the tool you're saying the machine that helps with that yeah the machine this is an ombre machine it's called an airbrush okay so the airbrush is used to spray the nails to, to spray the polish okay and you can set it to the required uh, Then when you're spraying, this is a plain nail, you'll uh -huh. see the effect that you'll get after now having, to, uh, having sprayed the ombre. Okay. So if you're just tuning in and wondering what's happening, we're going over nail art. And uh, Polycap Nails here is uh, applying a ombre nail technique <laughs> to our model's nail. He began by applying a nude color, yeah. let's say. Yeah, one that matches her nail color uh, pretty well so that we can then achieve this ombre effect. And he's using this tool because that makes it a lot faster to accomplish than trying to do this, you know, with a traditional brush. This is a pen that removes the excess polish on the, okay. on the fingers. Okay. Yeah. Cure. Wow. And then she cures it. Yeah, you cure it for 10 seconds. Okay. I forgot my gloves. <laughs> All right. Um, so as, as we're waiting for that to cure, um, ideally, how long does it take then when one wants to do... Clearly, that was pretty fast, and you've just done the one nail. Yeah. So can you do all of them and then cure at once, or do you have to cure each individually? You do all the all, you do all of them, and then you cure at one, you cure just once. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So in terms of nail care and actual nail health, because you said you're very keen on helping people grow their own natural nails, yeah. You've also clarified that these products do not actually strengthen the nails; they yeah. just protect it. Yeah. So, what are some of the mistakes we make as women as far as our nail care? The biggest mistake I would say is using acetone to remove, uh, to remove the product or the nail polish. Mm. The best thing you can use to remove your nail polish or the nail, the, the nail product mm -hmm. is this nail drill. I okay. can just demonstrate maybe for one nail. Okay. Let me apply this top coat here and then cure. Okay. But do you mean acetone even when you're just removing regular polish? Or do you mean if you're going to sit down and soak your nails? If you are removing your regular polish, mm -hmm. please use the normal remover. Without the normal polish remover, okay. which has a, which is less concentrated with the acetone. Okay. If you use pure acetone, what happens? Uh, ac acetone is a bit corrosive, mm -hmm. and what it does, it is, <coughs> it, it's like it eats up your nail cells and it weakens them in a very bad way. Okay. So when your nails uh, nail cells weaken, they no longer produce the uh, the the good nail cells that uh, make sure that your nails are in good health and okay. hardened. So that's uh, if you're removing regular polish. Yeah, that's if you're uh, removing what regular What if you polish. have like gel or acrylics, can you soak in acetone? You can soak in acetone, but now that's where the problem comes in. Okay. If you soak, you can soak the nails from uh, usually from 15 to 30 minutes mm -hmm. for you to make sure that you are, you are completely, the, 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 the product uh, is off completely. Yeah. But you have another option 
that is nail, nail drill. Okay. This has to be done in a very professional way because uh, if it's done in the wrong way, yeah. you might hurt either you or yourself as the nail technician yeah. or you hurt the client. Client, okay. And I don't know if I have time for us to fully show it, but maybe mm -hmm. you can show me the, the drill heads and the drill and I can uh, show it on camera. Yeah. Um, do you think we have time to do it, Shen? The, these are the these are the bit the bits. So yeah. as he's saying, you need to be very very careful because it's spinning, it's rotating. Yeah, it's rotating. And you can chonga someone's mukono. Yeah. <laughs> um, you can demo very quickly but briefly because I, I know I won't have time for the whole thing. Okay. Um, but uh, hopefully we're just about cured here. Oh, as she's doing that. Yeah. You can do so another one. So you to remove this uh, nail polish. Yeah. Usually you'd have a dust mat before yeah, you, but you usually use the dust collector. This is yeah. a dust collector. It collects the dust that's uh, removed by this nail drill. Okay. So that's to protect you, you as the nail technician okay. and the client okay. from inhaling the, I think the dust. So if you're removing, this removes the products really, very, very, very fast. Okay. And uh, you just be very careful not to hurt the nail belt and also not to hurt the the client okay so that's how it's done hopefully there's a close-up you can see where he's removed part of her polish sorry annette we're here just messing your, your manicure but um uh, again you have to be very careful maybe polycarp you can actually hold up that drill uh, to the camera there you go yeah just so that people if can you're see you can this see uh, so the dust that's jumping up is usually collected by the dust collector the, okay. the dust collector so one has to be very very careful with yeah, that yeah very very careful all right and it's usually very fast compared even to soaking okay <coughs> yeah Great. you also you also have to be very careful not to hurt the cuticle areas sure yeah sure. asante asante for showing us that i think we can turn this off and also her nail has been cured so we can see what the final look of the ombre nail is that's this one right here uh we can get a close-up of this shot <laughs> uh there we go there we go this nail right here that is her ombre nail done great and it has a great effect certainly as it tapers in to the nude color polycarp i want to thank you so much for coming uh, clearly so there's a lot to learn as far as nail art is concerned yeah. uh, a lot of science a lot of technical skill behind this so you know as much as we're encouraging people to go out and start their own things take the time to do the research so that you're doing it well yeah. and you don't damage people's nails and yeah. fingers how can people find you we are on uh, instagram and facebook mm -hmm. polycarp underscore nails you can also call us and book for an appointment via 0788 mm -hmm. <coughs> 300 304 oh. 301 sorry okay <laughs> 300 301 yeah 0788 300 301 all right yeah well thank you to you polycap thank you annette for coming as well and uh, hopefully you guys have learned something new and maybe now you can even go and ask your nail tech some questions you know from what you've learned here today and with that said i need to take a break now as we get ready for our final segment for the day we're going to be bringing you our cooking segment and we're bringing you a breakfast recipe triple one triple four triple one is the sms line i'll be back after this